This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Pariah Burke for Creative Pro. When it comes to working with tables of contents in InDesign, paragraph styles are crucial. In fact, you can't make tables of contents in InDesign without them. In previous videos, I explained that statement. So in this video, I want to focus not on the styles that InDesign uses to generate a TOC, but on the styles for formatting the TOC itself, how your actual TOC entries look. When it comes to styling TOC entries themselves, you have two choices. One, style them exactly like the text they reference, which means choosing same style from the entry style dropdown in the table of contents dialog. The entries will look exactly like the headings, table titles, captions, or whatever it is they reference. However, most tables of contents don't do that. Most opt for the second method, which is to format the TOC entries on their own through dedicated paragraph styles just for controlling the appearance of TOC entries. If you're starting with a new document for which you've never before generated a TOC, you probably don't have those styles for entries. So there's two ways to start that. First, you can build your TOC entry paragraph styles like any paragraph style in InDesign. You can go to Window Styles Paragraph Styles, click the plus sign, double click, and start building. You can also format text first, select it, and then create a new paragraph style from it, which has all the formatting options already defined. You can see in this training company course catalog I designed that I have four different sets of styles for the four different tables of contents, the main high-level navigation, a list of certification-only courses, and then a pair of longer TOCs that list all the courses the company offers by category and alphabetically in different lists. For each of these, I have different paragraph styles to make the TOC entries fit in their context. When creating a TOC, I just have to select an entry under Include Paragraph Styles and then choose the appropriate paragraph style from the entry style list. For every entry in the TOC, it will be formatted according to the paragraph style. And I can edit the paragraph style like any other without having to update the TOC. Creating styles from scratch like I did for this document is not actually the way I recommend you do it. It's not even the way I do it most of the time. For most documents I work on, there's a single table of contents, not four like the course catalog. So I don't actually build the table of contents styles before I generate the TOC initially. The reason is that InDesign will build those styles for me as part of the TOC generation process, saving me a bunch of clicks and several minutes of my life. Let me show you. Here, I have a simple dummy document into which I've put placeholder text. I built paragraph styles for the title, subtitle, and headings. Note the absence of any TOC entry styles on my paragraph styles panel. Now I'll go to Layout, Table of Contents, choose the styles to include, and then down in Entry Style, I'll find the paragraph styles I built, but also a style I didn't build, TOC body text. Also, up here in the style dropdown for the title of the TOC is another style InDesign is suggesting that I didn't create, TOC title. If you select either or both, InDesign will create those paragraph styles as part of the TOC generation, so what you're left with after generating your TOC is paragraph styles you can edit to your heart's content without having to build them in advance. There is one drawback to this, which might affect you, it might not. InDesign will only create a paragraph style for a single level of TOC entry. If you need a different style for different levels of entries, you'll have to build those yourself, preferably doing it the smart way, basing one level off of another. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.